So sketch constraints can sometimes be difficult, but um, one of the ones that I've found more useful as of recently is the um, symmetrical constraint. And I actually use that. Here's a just a project example that we, we made this chair for this guy today, or this kiddo today. Um, and a lot of times, uh, well, all the time, we use these slots in the back of our seating systems to hold square nuts, which then go through um, the side, board, side panel and get attached to a bolt. So I'm just going to show you how I utilize the symmetrical constraint in the sketches to create that. Um, so I'm just going to activate my back panel here and also isolate it to get all the other stuff out of the way. Um, so we use it right there. You can see I, I do a lot of sketch mirroring for these because it just works. Um, but So here's that, that slot and you've got um, the vertical slot is for the square nut and the horizontal is for the bolt to come through the side panel and then into this area. Um, so as you can see, uh, I've got symmetrical, symmetry, symmetry constraints going around the slot and they're just on the center line of this back panel. So um, how you do that, I'm just going to create you know, square nuts a width loose by square nut height. These are just uh, parameters, user parameters I've already established. Uh, we're going to go bolt uh, length by bits. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to create a uh, um, a line here for my midline of the bolt hole. I just made that a construction line by hitting X. Now I want to go ahead and use my symmetry constraint. So I go I, I selected the upper side of the square nut hole and the lower side and then I selected the midline and that, that puts it in the midline there. And then um, yeah, and then we also do an offset. This needs to come down here. Move that. Spring that gap. So there you go. And if I want to put this, I could just dimension this midline be two inches and everything will be locked down. So there you go. Um, symmetry constraint, it's very it's very good. The, the other reason I really like to use it, um, obviously this example doesn't matter, but for our actual use, these the backrest height is always changing for us. And so if I, I'm gonna stop this sketch, hopefully it doesn't blow anything up. Okay. Um, so one of the parameters that always changes for us, and I'll show it to you as it happens, is backrest height right here. So we go everything from, let's throw in 12. There'll be some errors off of this, I'm sure, but at least you'll see the square nuts and the tabs are all based off symmetry. So the combine had an error, but um, as you can see, the square nut tab, it stays symmetrical between the top and the bottom of that back panel and uh, it works really well for us. So there you go, symmetry constraint in the sketch um, commands and use it.